Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in case you missed it, Google recently announced that Jamboard would be shut down by the end of 2024. Don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna outline everything you need to know, including the timeline for the shutdown, how to export your existing jams, as well as some Jamboard alternatives you can use moving forward. Now, if you have no idea what Jamboard even is at this point, don't worry about it, cause it's going away. But in case you're curious, Jamboard is a digital whiteboard service from Google. It became very popular within the education space during the pandemic when so many educators had to switch to a virtual environment. I do have a tutorial video on how to use Jamboard. I'll put it in the description box, but as you will find out in this video, it's not gonna be good for very long. So let's start with the timeline for the shutdown. What is happening to Google Jamboard and when? From now until October 1st of 2024, Jamboard will continue to function normally. That means for the next 11 months or so, you can continue to open and edit existing jams, as well as create new ones through Google Jamboard. But here's where you need to pay attention. Starting October 1st of 2024, Google Jamboard will become view only. This means you can still open and view existing jams, but you will not be able to edit them. You also will not be able to create new jams at that time. Then after the last day of the year, so December 31st, 2024, Jamboard will be no longer accessible. That means at that point, you can no longer open or view existing jams, and you already were not able to edit or create new ones by the beginning of October. So there are really only two dates that you need to pay attention to. October 1st, 2024 is the cutoff date for creating and editing jams. December 31st, 2024 is the cutoff date for using Jamboard at all. Now, if a little bit of panic has set in, take a deep breath. You may be wondering, Michelle, I have Jamboard files in my Google Drive. What do I need to do with them? So now let's talk about how to export your existing jams. Now, jams are just Google Jamboard files. So if you are wanting to export them, you have two options. You can export it as an image, which would be a PNG file, or you can export it as a PDF. Now, the good news is Google has stated that they will automatically export any existing jams into PDF files that will be stored in your Google Drive prior to the shutdown date. So even if you don't do anything, your jams are not gonna disappear completely. They will be converted to PDF files and they will be stored in your Google Drive. But if you do wanna get a head start on that process, I'm gonna walk you through two different ways you can export your existing jams. So this first method would be best for a single Jamboard file. You can open up the file and you're gonna click the more actions button in the top right, it's the little three dots. From there, you can choose either download as PDF, that's going to save the PDF file to your device, or save frame as image. Now what's important to note here is that you would have to save each individual frame of the Jamboard as a separate image, or if you download it as a PDF, you can then convert PDFs into images and it will save each page of the PDF as an image. So that may be a little bit faster for you. Another option is to actually convert all of your Jamboard files at once. In order to do that, go into your Google Drive, up at the top in the search box, type in type colon jam, no spaces. It's just T-Y-P-E colon J-A-M hit enter, that is going to bring up all of the Jamboard files within your Google Drive. You're gonna select the jams, which you can just use Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac to select them all or click and drag with your mouse in order to highlight them. Go ahead and right click on those files, click download, and that's going to export all of them to PDFs. Depending on the number of files you have, it may take a little bit, but it might be a faster process than individually opening and exporting each one. Now that we've covered the timeline for the shutdown, as well as the steps for exporting your existing jams, 
let's look into the future. Here are a few Jamboard alternatives you can use moving forward. Now, Google has stated that there will be a Jamboard importer by March of 2024 for the three alternatives I'm going to cover, which are FigJam, LucidSpark, and Miro. Now, I don't know exactly what that importer will look like. If you are interested in me putting out a video once it is available, I can do that. But the thought process is that the importer would allow you to take your Jamboard files and convert them to files to use within those services and still be able to edit them. Because when you export your Jamboards as either images or PDFs, you're no longer able to make any changes. So most likely that importer will allow you to continue to edit the Jams, but we will have to find out together. So I'm gonna go through each of those different alternatives and just highlight a few of the features and the important information to know at this point. First up is FigJam by Figma. This is available to educational institutions at no cost. And as I mentioned, there should be a Jamboard importer by March of 2024. FigJam has the same capabilities as Jamboard, plus templates, voting, diagramming tools, timers, stamps, stickers, and more. It integrates with Google Meet, so it can be used virtually. You can also attach Fig Jams to calendar events, which is really helpful for maybe some scheduled team planning where you plan to use a whiteboard. You can also insert Fig Jam files into Google Docs, as well as Google Sheets as Smart Chips, which again, might be really helpful for planning if you want to use Fig Jam within a lesson. Another alternative is LucidSpark by Lucid. Once again, there is no cost to K-12 users, schools, and districts, and there should be a Jamboard importer available by March of 2024. Just like Big Jam, LucidSpark has the same capabilities as Jamboard, plus templates, locking a limitless canvas that will keep expanding, hyperlinking, commenting, and more. It also integrates with Google Meet, so it can be used virtually. It also attaches to calendar events, which once again can be helpful for maybe scheduled meetings where you plan to use a virtual whiteboard. And you can use the LucidSpark add-on in Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Slides. And finally is Miro, which offers an education plan at no cost for up to 100 users. And once again, there should be that Jamboard importer available by March of 2024. Just like the other options I mentioned, Miro does have the same capabilities as Jamboard, plus templates, session management tools, diagramming, and more. It also integrates with Google Meet so it can be used virtually. It also attaches to those calendar events, and you can even import files from Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. I wanted to start with those alternatives since they should have the Jamboard importer available, but I'm gonna list out just a couple of other options that you can try as well. First of all, a lot of video conferencing softwares and programs have built in whiteboards, such as Google Meet, there's Microsoft Whiteboard, and even Zoom Whiteboard. So those may be options if you are using a video conferencing software. You can also use some of the tools you probably already know and just use them as a virtual whiteboard. For example, Google Drawings or Google Slides can be shared with students with editing capabilities, and you can use it as a virtual whiteboard. They may not have the best drawing tools, but in terms of adding little sticky notes and other stickers and things, it would be a great option. Canva, which y'all know I've been on a big Canva kick lately, does have a virtual whiteboard option too, but some other services include Mural, Explain Everything, Collapsoon board, I could be totally butchering that, and Sketchboard. If you're sad that Jamboard is going away, trust me, you are not alone. I am right there with you, but that's what happens as technology evolves. Rather than dwelling on it, we have to just embrace the changes. The good news is the alternatives I mentioned in this video actually have far more capabilities and tools than Google Jamboard ever had. So it should be a big improvement once you adjust to that change. Now I wanted to keep this video very simple just to get you started with some alternatives. 
But if you would prefer a detailed tutorial on any of the options that I mentioned, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get that out to you in the future. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell, that way you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on, and I will catch you in the next one.